Hello, my name is Dan Richardson. Welcome to the Dan Richardson Show. Today we'll be talking about At Midnight, the new sort of um, Valentine's Day movie from Paramount Plus. Um, I, of course, watched it. And uh, yeah, let's talk about it. So basically, um, what happens in this film is uh, an actress named Sophie Wilder uh, gets cheated on by her boyfriend, who is also sort of the co-star in these tr in this trilogy of superhero movies that she's doing. Um, uh, that boyfriend being Adam uh, cheats on her with some person, I think, just a part of the crew. And um, instead of making this, you know, scandal public, um, everyone involved decides to keep it hush hush to not mess with the release of the film so they go off to mexico because they have to film there for like a week or so and th while there sophie meets the junior manager of the hotel named alejandro a um, mexican native and they end up hitting off and the only way that they can meet because sophie is such a major star is at midnight which is why this film is called at midnight and you want to what? This is a, I think, cheesy movie. I was hoping that it was a cheesy rom-com. I was a little bit worried when I saw that it was rated R. But you want to what? It's basically a cheesy rom-com. Um, there isn't anything like sexually graphic in this film. Too terribly much. Um, at least from what I saw, you know, there's anything too sexually um, graphic. But... It is definitely um, has some adult language in it, but it kind of feels like Cobra Kai. You know, Cobra Kai has a few F words here and there throughout the show. It feels like that, except maybe this is a joke, by the way. Maybe YouTube bribes the the censor board, you know, the, the ratings board, and that's why they can get away with that. Um, because in the first season, it's like, okay, well, YouTube has looser rules, but no, like in season four, they say the F word, like I think twice. So that's weird, but whatever. Um, this is rather fun film. Um, the actor or the actress who plays Sophie is Monica um, Barbaro. Uh, I hope I said that name right. Uh, she is of course Phoenix from uh, the from the new uh, Top Gun Maverick film, and I'm having trouble actually. Oh, and Diego um, Bartita is um Alejandro they both do I think a great job playing the two rom-com leads and yeah this is an enjoyable film uh if you have a significant other that you want to watch this film with I highly recommend it because this is a fun date night movie um and hey if you want to watch it to actually I guess tonight uh during the Super Bowl more proud to you like I said last time I'm not interested remotely in the Super Bowl I'll probably be watching some other show um but yeah uh comment below let me know if you have seen this film i like i said i liked it it's as cheesy as i want it to be and that's great um the annoying thing about it though is that um so at least the way that my roku had it the um english you know subtitles for the spanish words there was the ones that Roku have, which has the black outline on it, and then there's white. So it's like subtitles on top of subtitles. That's kind of annoying. Uh, I didn't really like that much. It just got confusing, honestly, in my opinion. But hopefully that doesn't happen necessarily for you. And um, also there is, I, I won't spoil who it is, but there is an internet celebrity who just like shows up towards the end of the film, and it's not even like cleverly built in like with um the internet celebrities who are in free guy it's weird it's jarring and i literally had a wtf moment with it um that's not a complaint though that's a nitpick the subtitle thing actually cheesed me um but yeah this is like i said a nice cheesy rom-com that you and your partner or maybe family if you have old enough children to watch radio our film would like uh, remember that God made special. Loves you very much. I hope you're having a very nice day. I hope you enjoy your Sunday and enjoy the rest of your week. God bless.